To look at Mars and Earth today, you see two massively contrasting planets. Our own planet is a blue and green oasis teeming with breathable air, water, and abundant life. Mars is a desolate, red, dusty wasteland with little atmosphere and, as far as we know it, no evidence of present life. But it seems that this may not have always been the case. It's thought that Mars was once an Earth-like planet, at least at a primitive level. But why then are we the planet to flourish into one teeming with life when Mars is forced to suffer a descent into a lifeless rock? This video will look at why Mars died and why Earth survived. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, and also to subscribe to Brain Impact for more videos just like this one. So, how do we know that Mars used to be a very different place? Rovers and satellites have gathered evidence that the ancient Mars landscape was covered in giant lakes and oceans, much like Earth is today. The Perseverance rover that is currently on the surface of the planet is conducting further research into a quest for life on the planet, both past and present, as this water is key to unlocking the secrets of life. There is evidence that suggests there is still water on the planet today, but that it's minimal. So where did the majority of it go? The answer lies in the atmosphere, or rather, the lack of it. We take our atmosphere on Earth for granted. Our atmosphere is what allows our water to flow, helps contain our air, and regulates things like temperature. Not only this, but it protects us from the harshness of space. Without our atmosphere, we'd be completely exposed to radiation. This is the case on Mars today. Its atmosphere is around 1% density to that on Earth, and this thinness in the air contributes to the fact that Mars is a very inhospitable place for us to visit. Back in the early days of the solar system, both Earth and Mars had electrically charged metal at their core. These metals flowed with liquid currents, and this produced magnetic barriers around the respective planets. These were essential to protect the planets from solar assaults from a young sun, Within these barriers, thick layers of air existed and enveloped water on both surfaces. If this seems familiar, it's because Earth still looks like this. Mars, however, couldn't be much different. Why is this the case then, if we are confident that our now red sibling was much the same as us at the birth of the solar system? The key is in the size of the planet. Mars is only slightly larger than half the size of Earth. Because of this, it cooled down faster than our planet did. This meant that Mars's core congealed. The protective magnetic barrier that is crucial to protecting the atmosphere from space was left exposed. Because of this, the Sun was able to blast away most of its atmosphere. The water that was once abundant on the surface of the planet quickly went the same way and was lost to space. In 2013, NASA launched a probe named MAVEN that orbits Mars collecting data. It's MAVEN that has made the discoveries that give us the confidence that the red planet's fate was that a once effective atmosphere was exposed due to a lack of magnetic barrier, switched off by a cooling of the planet's core and the cause of this atmosphere being stripped was down to solar wind. Solar wind is nothing new. It's something that hits the Earth constantly, but we are unaffected by it due to our magnetic field holding everything into place. The solar wind is a stream of mostly protons and electrons emitted by the sun that has the reach stretching as far as the edge of the solar system. Where this harsh wind is deflected by our field, it now hits Mars head on. When Mars still had its own magnetic field, it was also able to deflect the threat just like Mars does today. Back then, Mars was blue as it was covered in water. But around 4.2 billion years ago, as the planet's core cooled and magnetic field weakened, and solar winds were able to penetrate Mars, stripping it of its life-giving properties. The key element in all of this is argon. Argon is known as a noble gas because it's non-reactive, unlike something like carbon dioxide. So the only way it can be depleted is by being knocked out of the atmosphere like a pool ball being hit by a cue ball. This is the clue that the MAVEN team needed to determine that the exposure to solar wind is the cause for Mars looking like it does today. Through thorough research, they've concluded that gases such as argon must have been left exposed for them to have been bashed out of the atmosphere by an external force, in this case, a solar wind. The wind creates its own magnetic field as it streams through space at several hundred miles per hour. Then, this is able to smash into things in a process known as spluttering. It seems clear now that this process was the fate of the argon in the atmosphere of Mars as it was collided into by harsh solar winds. Other atmospheric gases also suffered the same fate, and the planet was left exposed to space. 
Without an atmosphere and a magnetic field, Mars and its water was a sitting duck and the planet was changed rapidly into what we now know today as simply the Red Planet. What all of this shows is the amount of features that need to go right for a planet to sustain life and thrive like Earth has done. We know that there is only one planet in the solar system that has so far kept all these features in balance and that is our own. And as far as we know, it's the only planet in the universe that has managed to maintain this balance. However, probability and ever-increasing research suggests that this is unlikely to be the case, and there's a planet out there somewhere that's managed to sustain a life-giving equilibrium. Unfortunately for Mars, this is not a planet that managed to live for the long haul. So, this is why Mars died, and Earth survived. An interesting story of how two planetary siblings over time drifted further and further apart in terms of their life-giving capabilities. What do you think about the future of Mars? Do you think it could sustain life once more? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.